Welcome to Pioneer Linens, and I just wanted to go through one of my beds that Penny, the owner of Pioneer Linens, loves green. So we started off with a green bed this season, and it's literally, it's one of uh, actually my favorite beds. It has a lot of great different components that work with the bed. And starting in the back here, we have our, which is the same print that's going to back into the quilts, is we've got this great, um, sort of an antique looking uh, floral uh, that uh, spins around. You can see it better on the quilt, but it has a great sort of soft greens and blues, and it's all hand stitched, hand quilted, um, cotton foil on one side and then a percale on the back side. We kind of see how we build a bed down with like a huge king sham, um, which again has some stitching details along the fringes, and a lot of our shams have um, fun details, which uh, we have about 20 ladies just doing handwork at our workshop in Jaipur. And so if you start looking at the edges of other pillows, you'll see like a chain stitch here. Um, and then you'll see like another one, you know, on all the decorative pillows, uh, we have some great details like that. And uh, the pillows are all block printed. This actually is fun. We have a painter in Jaipur who used to paint blue jeans for an Italian company. We found him, we rescued him from the Italians. And he is now painting, he can paint anything. He paints loose watercolors, he paints really tight, amazing, um, you know, like miniature, kind of blow up miniature paintings. Uh, Indian miniature paintings for inspiration and uh, if you can look at how detailed these birds are, it's incredible. I mean just he gets all the feathers and colors and um, it takes him up to two days to paint one pillow. So now uh, Rajiv has a whole crew of guys just painting pillows um, since these have taken off uh, this, you know, they've been doing great. You know, we've added fun things like we, we make some turbans uh, in Jaipur which um, when you go to an Indian wedding now, it's really hard to tie a 15-yard piece of fabric into a turban. So when you go to the market, you can buy pre-made turbans, almost like a fakey bow tie. Um, and then we go down to um, our hand-stitched cotton blankets. Again, the cotton voile, which is my favorite fabric. Um, only the Indians weave this amazing soft voile. And we do um, a hand stitch on the, you know, on each blanket. So you can actually, if you get a detail of it, you can see it's all hand stitched going uh, both directions, sort of a lighter green and a darker green thread. Um, super amazingly soft to sleep under and also it breathes because it's natural co cotton batting inside the blanket. Having not a lot of stitching in them makes them, you know, not machine stitching, which is really what makes a blanket harder. Um, you feel against your skin more with the machine stitching. This is hand stitch, it's really more irregular. I think that's the fun of the line, is just the variety of pillows that you can work with. Um, you can build up a different bed, different stories, and uh, have a lot of fun.